What's happening guys? Gemma here and back again for another video and today we are booting off in Camden down in London at CEX and I will say this, I was extremely surprised in a less than average kind of way because my naive gamer little backside thought that I would find some juicy retro games, some rare retro games in this CEX, but I'm going to let you judge for yourself as to whether or not you think they're juicy. I, I wasn't overly impressed. I've seen better stock in Nottingham and Derby. In fact, the only thing that I did see that I wish I had have purchased was Diablo on the PlayStation 1, which, as you're going to see some screens very, very shortly, is a really awesome isometric, very dark role-playing game. And this is classic from the PlayStation 1 era. Um, I just love the kind of top-down isometric stuff like Command & Conquer, you know, really, really ugh, amazing games that remind me of being at my friend Matthew's and Richard's back in the day. Now, the PSP stuff was pretty juicy. It was nice to see, you know, a varied amount. Things were pretty tidy. Nothing really jumped out at me. And recently, the PSP has been gaining my interest tenfold. I don't know why, but I love the PSP. And it's a healthy little blighter with some juicy facts here. A reasonable library of over 1,300 games released with, you guessed it, GTA Liberty City Stories being the best-selling PSP game, I believe at 7.6 million copies sold. Let me know in the comment section below which your favourite PlayStation Portable game is. Now we're jumping back to CEX before we divert off to some charity shops, which I was pretty stoked to find some decent-ish, okay-ish kind of games. And I'm being real with you gamers. I'm being real. When I go to these places, it's not always about finding the amazing stuff, the juicy stuff. I'm going to show you guys the footage, even if I don't find anything, because that's how we can keep it real. I can keep it real. I'm not here to blag you, but don't get me wrong. When I see something juicy, my heart races and I have you guys in mind. I'm like, I cannot wait to put this in a YouTube video. It is just, oh my God, my heart goes like, I, I live for this. This is absolutely my bread and butter. And if you like this kind of stuff, make sure you guys thump that subscribe button, leave a like and let me know with more out and about kind of recommendations on places I can go. I really do love CEX and I love the retro game shops. Um, there'll be some awesome retro game hunts coming your way even more. So I always do a little little swipe over the PlayStation 4 titles. Um, some decent stuff. We've got Infamous First Light there, which I believe was the DLC for Second Son. I haven't actually played that. I haven't played it. Is it any good? Let me know. Um, if you saw off to the right there as well, there's like an absolute plethora of Red Dead Redemption 2s. Like, it is amazing how quickly that game rose and that game fell massively. Um, so that was it. That was it for Camden. We were down in London, but now I'm back up in the Midlands um, and we're going to be diving into some retro game stalls. Nothing to tuck my eye here. I was trying to kind of really kind of muscle in. I had two people either side of me. This was quite difficult, um, but I saw this on the PC. I like to show you guys games, even if I know I'm not going to buy them. Um, we got Ride Tycoon on the PC, some more PC games, and eh, we'll just move on to the next. Not overly fussed about PC games. Now, went further down the street, saw a couple of 360 titles, as well as some really average PSP games. You can see the prices there. PSP games £1.50, Wii and 360 games at £2. So not too bad in terms of prices. I just love buying from charity shops. It gives me a little buzz because you never actually know what you're going into. Now I'm going to tell you guys this. I'm guilty. I don't know if I have this game. 
and I'm kind of kicking myself because now I've got home I don't actually own it so I may well go back tomorrow and just pick it up like I said it's only a couple of quid we got some crack down too here um, if you're a crack down fan I want to see those hands raised I actually saw a sealed copy of crack down too for 4 99 I want to say in a charity shop about a week ago didn't get any filming done in there to kind of bolt onto this because it was just kind of a, like a flying visit um but i thought that was not too bad of a price really and um, you can't go wrong with prince of persia games I, it's something i would love to see like a reboot of i kind of fell out of love when they did the prince of persia on the ps3 because i really didn't like the cell shading um which baffles me because it just looks so beautiful but i think it was too much of a step away from what i was used to back on the playstation 2 and the um original xbox so we jumped into the British Heart Foundation, plenty of FIFAs, we'll just kind of overlook that. Halo 4, Condemned, Tomb Raider, Saints Row 2, not a bad selection. And I will say this as a little tip for all of those in the United Kingdom. Almost forgot what I was going to say then. <laughs> British Heart Foundation tends to have some really good games. Every time I go in this particular... Um, charity shop and the one in my hometown you can guarantee i walk out with at least one title um and i did in here but i'm going to stick some stuff over on instagram and just let you guys know what i purchased and then in the final store this is actually i believe this is a lighthouse charity shop loads of books as you guys can see clocked the blue spines went in and it's just basic stuff in here which surprised me because about four months ago there were some game boy advance games and they just went they were priced it astronomically priced like 30 quid a pop i think there's a couple of final fantasy titles and i asked the chat where they'd gone and these guys do have an ebay so i think a lot a lot of charity shops these days do sell on ebay and fair play to them you know this is for charity um a oh, little bit of a we fit there not so fast this was just pc stuff again i'm just showing you guys at this stage and then just really kind of bland playstation 3 titles that i just was not interested in so um it's a short and sweet one i hope you guys can hit like i said hit that sub button we got some juicy content coming lots of gimbal and dslr footage coming up the more professional retro game hunts um so stay tuned hit that subscribe button and i will see you in the next video cheers Thank you.